If you guys are using Divi to build an e-commerce website, then it's almost imperative that you guys use the Divi Theme Builder. Here's some examples of what we made using the Divi Theme Builder. Here we have a custom shop page and also a custom product page. This was all done using the Divi Theme Builder and today I'll walk you guys through step-by-step -step on how to do this. So by the end of this video, you guys are gonna have some really nice looking shop pages and product pages for your e-commerce website. We also have free templates that you guys can download for free in the description of this video. And you guys can use those to follow along in this tutorial. So with that said, let's get started. All right, in this section, I'll be showing you guys how to use the Divi Theme Builder. In this part of the video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a custom header, a custom footer, and also how to create a custom shop page and a custom product page. As you guys can tell, the shop page is very dull and it just doesn't sit well with the rest of the website, right? Also, our products here, uh, you can tell they look very standard and it just doesn't really match the color scheme of our website. So I'll show you how to create these pages from scratch in order to add some more design to your e-commerce website. So let's go over here and click on home. So for example, you guys can see on this website, we have this custom uh, header and we also have this custom footer. This is all done using the actual theme builder. Also, if you go over here to our shop page, uh, we do have four to, to pick from, but you can see how this shop page is a lot more vibrant. It's a lot more stylish, and this can actually help increase uh, engagements and conversions on your e-commerce websites. And then also for our product page, you can see that uh, this also does look a little bit more stylish. So I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to set all this up for your e-commerce website. All right, so over here, let's first go ahead and go to dashboard. Now we're gonna go down to Divi and click on theme builder. Now, in order to speed up this video, I want you guys to import the template kit that we created for you guys that gives you the global header and the footer. To do that, you'll click on the export imports, you'll click on imports, and then you'll click on choose the file. You're then gonna select the Divi header and footer.json, and then you'll click on open and then you'll click on import Divi Theme Builder templates. All right, and once that's done, let's click on save changes here. Now, first let's take a look at what's happened to our websites. So without actually going into the builder, let's just go to visit site here and see what's actually changed. So now you guys can tell that we have this uh, custom header right here, and this is all done using the Divi Builder. We also have all of our pages here that were propagated perfectly with our menu. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page here, you will also see that we have this new footer. So it shows all these other links right here. And we can design this builder using the Divi Builder. So let's go back up here and let's first go back to the Theme Builder. We'll go down to Divi and click on Theme Builder. Now let's say for example, you wanted to customize the actual global header. Let's click on this little pencil icon and this will actually turn on the builder. So as of right now, we are only editing the header of the websites. And just remember, this layout applies through the entire websites. Now, uh, since I actually am using a red color scheme, it wouldn't make sense for me to use these teal icons, right? So I'll go ahead and click on this and click on the gear icon, and I'm gonna design this, right? So uh, this is uh, the title. We have some description here for the design, for the image and icon, I wanna change this to red, right? And I'm gonna copy this style right here, copy module styles, and I'm gonna paste it over here. All right, just like that. And also with this button right here, I'm gonna click on this, and I'm also going to edit this button. So I'll click on the gear icon, design for the button. I'm gonna change this to red. Oh, no, 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 my, my bad. Oh, background, Oof, my bad, <laughs> there we go. All right, there we go, background. But you know what? I want a rounded button. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little paranoid here. I, I like rounded buttons. I feel like they're very inviting. So for the button, I want to add border radius here. So for the border radius, we're going to add just a little bit of border radius, and there we go. Now we we can also do here is we can add more to this, right? So just like we use the regular Divi Builder, uh, I can create, uh, you know, I can add in more elements, right? And you can add in as many elements here as you want, and you can build your uh, header just like you normally build the rest of the websites. Now this module right here is a little unique. This is the actual nav menu module. So for example, I'll go ahead and click right here and we will see the nav menu, right? So the, or is it the menu? Let's see, menu, there it is. So this is the actual menu, right? So this is what this element is right here. Now, sometimes when using the Divi uh, Builder, Sometimes the modules might not display well, or it's hard to like, you know, figure out where they are exactly, or the thing doesn't even pop up, which you can do to override and fix that 
is to click on this right here and you can actually click right here and this is the backend builder. So for example, if you find it's just a little weird or glitchy, you can say, I want the menu right here and I wanna add this there and so on and so forth. Here for the menu, we can go ahead and pick our menu. That is the Daryl's menu. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that's pretty much it. Here, this image, this is the image that represents our website. So this is the uh, site icon. So I'll go ahead and leave that checked. And that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. And then I'm gonna close this builder. All right, I'll save that. And before I go onto the footer, let's just take a quick look at our website here. All right, so there we go. Now you can see that we have changed this color scheme to red. And if I click on another page here, you will also see how this header is being applied to the entire website. So it does look really nice. I really do like it. And I think you guys can make some really cool headers for your website using the Divi theme builder. So now that we actually customized the header of the websites, we can now do the same for the footer right here of the websites. Now, instead of actually going into the backend Divi theme builder, I can actually fix everything here from the front end. So right here, I'll click on enable visual builder. Now at any time, if you want to edit the header, you'll click on edit header templates and we can do the same thing for the footer. So I'll scroll down here and now you'll see edit footer template. So I'll click on edit footer templates. And just remember, this is going to apply throughout your entire website. All right. So here you guys can actually add in specific elements. You can add in pages. You can pretty much uh, use the Divi Builder as normal. Now there is one thing that I do want to talk about here that's a little uh, interesting, right? Here you can see that we have about us, pricing plan, contact us, and also the knowledge base. If you guys notice here, this is just a text module, right? And we just put in regular text here. However, what we've done here to convert this into a menu is we've actually uh, turned these into links. So for example, let's say you are, uh, you know, let's say you want people to go to your shop page, right? So I'll go ahead and click on this, click on the edit link here, and now I'm gonna put the link to the shop page, which is www.dwhosting9.com slash shop, right? And we're gonna change this to shop. I'll click on okay and okay. So now you can see this is a link to our shop page. So essentially I'm pretty much making my own menu here using the text settings. Now remember, there's no right or wrong way on how to use Divi, you guys can use anything to create any sort of style uh, that you want, right? So for example, here we have pricing plan. I'm gonna change this to our about us page, right? So this is gonna be www.dwhosting9.com slash about, right? Yes, yeah, slash about. I'll click on okay. And you can do the same thing here. Actually gotta change that to about, right? Yeah, sorry, about us, right? And then we can do the same thing here for the contact us and the services page and so on and so forth. So essentially what I've done here is I've actually just created a text module and I've used these uh, text elements here to create links for myself to make it look like a real menu, right? You don't have to use the nav menu. You can use whatever you want here. And then of course you can design and style this as you want. Right here, I'm actually using the um, uh, text right here. Now this is just for demo purposes but you guys can use this if you guys choose to do that. So for example, let's say you guys are running, um, you know, you have tags for a computer, right? Or a laptop. What I can do here is for the air conditioner, I'll just change this to laptop, right? And then we can insert the link right here that we can use for the current laptop, right? Uh, you guys can find this link by actually clicking on the tags link. So for example, here are my product, you can see that we have tags, right? Here you can see that we have this link for laptops at the bottom left of the page. I'm gonna click on laptops here. And this is the actual link for the tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, go back to our footer here, and I'll just go ahead and put this in right there like that. Okay, so now this is a link for a tag, right? So that's how you can self-generate tags for your website. Again, it's all about being as creative as you want. There's really no right or wrong way to use any of these modules. So I hope this part helped you guys out and kind of gives you some ideas or creativity to build out a really nice custom footer. But I'm gonna go ahead and just save this now because I think that looks good. And I'll go ahead and exit the visual builder. All right, so congrats. Now you guys have a global header and a footer on your e-commerce websites. And this also does reflect the shop page. 
So right here, you can see that we have our header and our footer now being applied on the shop page. I should probably get rid of this green. You know, it just doesn't fit with the rest of the websites, but I think you guys can, you know, you, you, you guys know what's up. You guys can uh, do that on your own, right? Uh, so now that we've done that, uh, now let's go ahead and design the shop page. Now you might've noticed here how there is enable visual builder on this shop page, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna use the theme builder. There's a lot of reasons why. Um, let's say for example, if someone actually clicks on a laptop here and they go to like shop page or laptops through the product, you're gonna see it looks like this. And we wanna make sure that we use the theme builder because the theme builder will override the theme settings. All right, so, you know, visitors, they always navigate websites weird and you just wanna make sure you do it the right way. So always use the theme builder to build a custom shop page and a custom product page, et cetera. Let's go over here to Divi and click on, whoops, whoop, 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 there it is. <laughs> and uh, Divi theme builder. So now let's go ahead and create a custom shop page. Right here, I'll click on add a new template. And now you're gonna see you have a few options, right? We have pages, posts, archive pages, and then we have WooCommerce pages, and then we also have products and so on and so forth. So what the theme builder is basically saying is, if I click right here on shop, I'm basically saying that I now wanna create a custom shop page and I want whatever I create right here to override the theme settings. So let's click on create a template. So you can see here how we now have the global header being applied to the shop page and also the global footer. So now let's create a custom body. So let's click on add a custom body and click on build a custom body. All right, now in the folder that I gave you guys, we do have pages that you guys can pick from. So right here, let's click on this plus and click on the import export and we're gonna import a shop page. This will really speed up the process because I don't wanna make it from scratch. So uh, let's just go ahead and select shop page one. Actually, no, I like shop page four. Shop page four, click on open and then we'll import Divi Builder layouts. So now we're gonna import the shop page onto the uh, website. You guys can actually go to my demo websites and you guys can view the shop pages here to see which one you guys like if you guys decide to use one of our free layouts. So uh, here we go. You know, we have the shop page, right? You can change this to whatever. So big sale for smartphone, whatever. And below that, we have the, uh, what is this? The, our, uh, the Woo products, right? So this is where the products would be propagated. So all the products that you guys make will then display right here. And you guys can design this page just like any other page on the website. So for example, you know, over here, let's just go ahead and uh, click on this module, design, image and icon, and let's change this bad boy to red. You know, we're using a red color scheme. And I'll go ahead and copy the module styles. It looks like it's using that green border right there. Let's just change that really quick. You know, that's, no, no, we, we gotta get rid of that. We have to be consistent with our practices. All right, so let's take out the border, right? <laughs> okay. And uh, we're now gonna go ahead and copy this, copy module styles. And now we're going to paste the module styles, paste the module styles, paste them, hold on, there it is. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's go back here. Copy module styles, and then we're gonna paste the module style. There we go. It kept the green little bar. I don't know why it did that, whatever. You guys get the point, right? Uh, we're also gonna paste the module styles there. So now we're using this red color scheme and we can do the same thing, you know, for this right here, right? So let's click on the smartphone or click on the element here. It's a little glitchy, right? Ah, oh, that happens sometimes, you know, it's just, this is heading two, right? So we're gonna change the heading text to a red color, right? And we'll do the same thing for the button here. You know, we're gonna make this an all red website. We're gonna carry this color scheme throughout the websites and just make it look good. All right, the background color, you're changing it to red. And uh, we'll just ignore that because that's just the sale banner. But uh, actually, you know what? No, we're going to get rid of that. The sale banner, we got, we got to change it, you know? Sale badge text, change that to red. All right, cool. So now we have this beautiful red color scheme. And this is our new shop page, except for that. You know, you, you got to go. We're going we're gonna to get rid of this. All right, that's getting out of here. And I'll click on save. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and close this. And then we'll save the changes. So now let's take a look at our website and see uh, what has changed. So here we go, we got our website here and I'm gonna click on shop. And this is our new shop page, beautiful. There we go, we have our shop page where all of our uh, products will propagate and everything looks great. So congratulations, that's how you guys can create a custom shop page. Now let's talk about how to create a custom product page, right? Because this doesn't really look good, right? It's very default and uh, let's just make a custom product page really quick. Let's go over here to our dashboard. 
we'll go down to Divi and go to the Divi theme builder. We'll now go over here and click on add a new templates and we're gonna select products this time. So we have all products. Now you guys can get very customizable here. You can have specific product templates for specific products or even specific product categories. So you can get as customizable as you want with the theme builder. There's a lot of flexibility with it, but I'll just say all products now for tutorial purposes and click on create a template. So now we wanna create a, um, you know, a product template for all of our products. So let's click on add custom body and click on build custom body. All right, now the product page is a little different than the other pages because they all have their own special modules. So let's first go ahead and import a template here and I'll explain how it works. So over here, I'll click on import, choose the file, and we're gonna select the product, right? So we'll just select product one, open, and then I'll click on import Divi Builder layout. All right, so here we go. We have our product page, right? Now, when you are building a custom product page, you're gonna get more elements, right? So for example, if I click on this right here, you're gonna see this is called the Woo product title settings. So essentially what you're gonna do here is that you're gonna add the Woo modules to build your product page. For example, I'll go over here and click on the plus icon and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see Woo modules. And then you have these other options here, but the ones that you wanna focus on are the actual product uh, elements. So for example, the Woo product title, right? Uh, this is referring to the actual title of the product. You have the Woo product stock. This is referring to the actual stock. Remember earlier how we talked about the stock? This is where you can enable the stock. Uh, product rating. So if you wanna have ratings for your product right here, you can add product ratings. Um, also here we have the price, right? And just remember, these will self-propagate, right? So uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which product is being displayed. All of these elements will dynamically update to whatever product is being viewed. So uh, also here we have the, um, I believe this is the uh, product add to carts, right? So this is the add to carts where users can actually, um, you know, add something to the cart. It also works for variable products as well, right? So what you wanna do here is make sure you have the title, the description, the price, and the add to cart. Everything else is optional. You don't have to add it if you want, but it's an option if you guys do decide to add it, you can. Now this right here is called the actual, um, the Woo notices, I believe, yeah. So when the user adds something to the cart, they will get this notice right here saying, hey, something's been added to your cart, right? So that makes sense. And then below that right here, this is the additional information module. So right here, I'll click on settings and here you have the product tab settings, right? So this is just showing additional information like description, reviews, and all this other stuff right here. So by using these elements, you guys can custom build your own product page from scratch. So let me just go ahead and walk you guys through this really quick. I'll go ahead and delete everything here. We're gonna go ahead and delete everything, right? And I'll just go ahead and walk you guys from scratch, right? Just, just so we're on the same page. So I first wanna add the Woo notices, right? So for the regular, I'm gonna add the Woo notices, right? The Woo notices, right? Here we go. That's my Woo notice, right? And for the next column, I wanna add a two column row, right? And uh, for this one right here, I wanna use an image, right? So we're gonna use the WooCommerce featured image. You wanna make sure it is the WooCommerce featured image because that's the image that represents the product. So here we have the Woo product images, right? And on the right side, we can add in the actual uh, WooCommerce product title, right? So over here, WooCommerce product title, this is the name of the product. And below that, we can add in our reviews, right? So and we're gonna find the review section, right? So it's not the, it's the product rating. So this is the rating of the product, right? And then we're gonna add the price, right? So we need to add the price here, Woo modules. We're gonna add the price here. And then we can also add the description of this actual product, right? So here we have the Woo, Woo, there it is. We have the uh, Woo, no, that's not it. There are a lot of go through here. There's product description, right? And then we need to add the add to cart. Now this is just demo text. This will update uh, once the user actually adds something to the cart, or I'm sorry, views the product. So uh, let's go ahead and go to Woo right here. And now we're gonna find the add to cart section. All right, add to cart. And uh, yeah, now again, you guys can add more, right? I mean, we can get really customizable. For example, we can create a three column row right here. And even right here, we can add in like the product reviews. So we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna find the actual reviews for the product. Here we go. 
Woo product reviews. So uh, yeah, I mean, you can have it like this where people are viewing the product and at the same time, they can see a bunch of positive reviews. So there's virtually no limit here on how you can create your product. You just need to make sure that you have the product name, the price, the description, and the add to cart. And also you need this notices. That is all you need for a functional product page. So uh, yeah, that's how you guys can add a custom product page from scratch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my current templates. So now I'm going to quickly change my color scheme to red. All right, so there we go. I changed the color scheme to red and I'm gonna click on save. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at our website and see how this was applied. So I'm gonna click on save changes and now let's take a look at our website. And there you go. We now have this beautiful landing page where we have the title, uh, we have the price, we have uh, the description, we have our button, which has been changed to our specific style. And then we also have the box down here with more information on it. So that's how you guys can create a custom product page using the Divi Builder. Now, I also do wanna mention one more thing. Here we have these links right here. You guys can modify and change the color of these links. And this is only done through the theme customizer. I know the uh, builder actually changes the product page, but these links are dedicated through the theme. So you'll have to go ahead and adjust the color in the theme customizer. You guys can find that. Let's go ahead and show you guys where it is. You'll go to general settings, topography. You'll scroll down here and this is the body link color. So this is the actual link right here uh, for the category and the headphones and also this clear button that you guys will have to use in order to make it go hand in hand with the Divi theme builder. And that's it. So click on publish here. So feel free to also use our other template kits. So you guys don't have to use, uh, you know, just one. You guys can use as many as you want. Uh, here I'll click on the Divi theme builder. And just for tutorial purposes, I'll do one more and have it only applied to one product. So here we go. I'll go over here to our products. And we're gonna do specific products now. And I will do the actual uh, laptop and I'll create a template. So what I'm saying here now is um, I'm gonna make a specific uh, template only for the laptop product, right? So over here, I'll click on build custom body. I'll go ahead and insert a template and I'll click on import Divi Builder layout. Here we go, we got the product layouts. I'll click on save and now I will save the changes. All right, now let's go ahead and just take a, take a look here and see what else we've done here. So let's go to our shop page. We'll then scroll down and we'll click on laptop this time. So now you can see how this specific product is using a different product layout. And if we go to our other product, you'll see that it's using a different style layout. So you guys can mix and match. You guys can get as customizable as you want. And that's how you guys can create uh, different product templates for different products. Now there's one last thing that I wanna talk about before we actually end this session, which is the actual category page. For example, if I click on headphones right here, you guys will notice that we're brought to this default Divi style uh, category page. And I wanna change that, so let's do that. Let's go back over here to our dashboard and we'll go down to Divi and click on Theme Builder. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to create a custom product category page for your e-commerce websites. All right, so now we're gonna create a custom product category page for specific product categories. Now this might be a little confusing at first, but stick with me and I think you'll get the hang of it. So right here, I'll click on add a new template. And here we have the archive pages, right? So here we have specific uh, product category pages, right? And I first just wanna select laptops, all right? So I'm only making one page for the uh, laptops. Now, in my opinion, I would recommend making uh, special product category pages for all of your categories. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. So right here, I'll click on create a templates. And then right here, a lot of custom body and I will build a custom body. All right, and just to speed this up, I'm gonna use my pre-made template. So I'll click on imports, choose the file and I'll select shop page number two. And then I'll click on import Divi Builder layout. All right, so here we go. We have the shop style two right here. And here we have a list of products. Now you guys might notice here how we have headphones and laptops. However, I want this page to be dedicated only to laptops. So in order to do that, I'll click on the gear icon and for the product view type, I'm gonna click on the product category and then I'm going to only select laptops. So what this is doing basically is that it's only gonna propagate 
uh, laptops onto this specific page. And that works because uh, this is for the laptop page, right? So do you guys understand that? Let me just demonstrate. Here, I'll click on check and I'll click on check again. So this right here is a product category page that's only for laptops, all right? Let's click on save changes and let's just take a look at what we've done so far, right? So let's go back to our visit site and I'll scroll down right here and I'll click on laptop. All right, now we're not done here. I need to click on the actual laptop category because remember, these are all of the categories for laptops and there you go. So now this is going to be our new category page only for laptops. So what I recommend doing here is creating a product category page for each specific category, right? So uh, let's go ahead now and assign another one for our other category. Now, if we go to our shop page right here and take a look at our other categories, you're gonna see that they're still using the Divi defaults. So right here, headphones, I'll scroll down and I'll click on headphones. And now you guys can see this is using the default Divi theme custom product category page. So we need to create one for headphones, right? So let's do that. Let's go back over here to dashboard. I'll we'll go to Divi and theme builder. And now we're gonna create a new template and this is gonna be only for the headphones. So right here, add a new template. And under archive pages, we're gonna select the product category pages, right? And this is gonna be for headphones. And then I'll click on create a template. Now I'll click on custom body and then I'll build a custom body. I'll go ahead and just import, uh, I'll just import like a random shop page. I'll, I'll use like number three this time or something like that, just to, just to give some difference here. Shop page number three and import Divi Builder layout. All right, cool. So here we go. We have our products here. Now I'm gonna click on this and I'll click on the gear icon. And for this one right here for product view type, we're gonna select product categories. However, this is gonna be for the headphones, right? And then I'll go ahead and click on check and save. Right here, I'll click on shop. And then I'll scroll down right here to headphones. And now under the headphone category, if I click on this, you guys will then see that it brings us to the uh, page that we created. And now all of the headphones will be displayed for this specific product category. So that's why you guys would wanna create a custom product category page for each category to give them some distinction from one another. And remember, the actual module here is controlling the categories, right? So essentially what we're doing here is that we're just changing the actual Divi module to be uh, whatever category we want, and we'd use this as our new product category page. Make sense? Hope that was easy, guys. And that is pretty much it. So that's how you guys can create a custom product category page for your products. All right, guys, so now that you guys know how to design the shop page, the product page, and also the product category page, now let's talk about the actual checkout process and the My Account page. For example, this is the default My Account page that comes with WooCommerce. It's very dull, very boring, and with the Divi Theme Builder, you can convert it into a different style of My Account page where you have a lot more going on, right? You can design it, you can add buyer protection notices, you can add in little upsells, and this is where the user can access all of their uh, information on things they purchase on your website. Now we can also adjust the cart page. So for example, we can convert our boring cart page into something like this right here, where we have this beautiful template that I created for you guys. So we have the checkout process of finished shopping. Uh, right now they're on the checkout and shipping, and then they go to the finish shopping section where they can purchase the items. So for example, I'll click on proceed to checkouts and here we go. So the user's brought to this checkout page. It's very nicely designed. Here we have the checkout steps. So they're on the last step and they're almost finished shopping. So with the theme builder, you guys can also design your uh, cart page and also your checkout page using the Divi theme builder. Now the alternative is the standard uh, I just want to say checkout and uh, cart page, which don't look too nice, right? For example, if I scroll down right here and I just add one of these products to the cart, I'll add this one to the cart right here, and I go to view carts, uh, this is our current cart page. And it doesn't really match well with the rest of the website. It's very dull. In fact, all the colors and, you know, the fonts and style, it's all gone as well. Uh, here, if I click on proceed to checkouts, uh, this right here is the default checkout page. 
Now you guys don't have to use the Divi theme builder in order to design this, but I recommend it because it gives you a lot more flexibility and control over the checkout process. So let me walk you guys through how to do that. It's really simple. And I think by now you guys probably know uh, how to do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and slap on a template for each page and then we'll just cruise through this. So right here, a lot of new templates. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see WooCommerce pages. Ah, this is it right here. So we have the my accounts, the checkouts and the carts. And all you guys have to do here is just assign the templates that I gave you guys to those specific pages, right? So for example, I'll do the my account first. I'll create a template. I'll click on add a custom body and then I'll click on build a custom body. Now, just one thing I want to remind everyone. Uh, for the my account page and all these other pages, these are actually WooCommerce modules. Okay, so don't forget the WooCommerce modules. These are actually part of the my account, right? So I'll just go ahead and open this up for you just to give you an example for beginners, just in case you might have deleted your WooCommerce short code. All right, use existing contents. So this right here is not a module. Okay, all it is, it's a uh, short code right here. So you see this short code, this, this short code propagates this section. So WooCommerce dash my dash account. So if you guys ever delete your account page on accidents, all you have to do is just make a text module and paste the text module here. And this will propagate everything. However, the template that I gave you guys already has the short code in it. So you don't have to worry, you just have to import the template. So let's go ahead and click on import, choose the file. And I will select the my account page. Where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. Open and import Divi Builder layout. All right, cool. There we go. So this is your new My Account page, and you guys can customize this to your liking. Uh, here you can see this is the WooCommerce shortcode. If I click on this and I click on the gear icon, you can see that we did insert the shortcode for you. So even if you delete your My Account page, uh, this will be your new My Account page, and you guys can assign these pages in the WooCommerce settings, which we will talk about in the next section. All right, but uh, yeah, this is your new uh, My Account page. So I'll just click on Save. All right, I'll close this. I'll make sure to save this. And then up here, I'm just going to refresh the page here. And voila, we now have this beautiful My Account page. And of course, we might need to adjust these colors and everything. But overall, you guys can see that uh, this is your new My Account page and it looks great. Now let's go ahead and talk about the uh, car page and also the checkout page. So right here, add a new template and you guys know what to do here. You know, you guys are probably pros, right? The cart, add a custom body, build a custom body. Now, again, one thing just to remember is that uh, the cart page is also just a short code, okay? It's just a WooCommerce short code. So this short code propagates this whole section and we just use the Divi Builder to design it and just give it a little bit of flavor, right? So over here, let's do the same thing. We'll import that template. I do have more templates coming as well, guys. So uh, be sure to check my website out. We do have uh, one layout coming called the Cabana Kit, which looks pretty nice. Uh, here I'll do cart page. Yeah, cart page. We have two different style cart pages. We have cart page one and cart page two. You guys can actually go check it out right here on the demo website. So uh, we have cart page one and cart page two. They're just different styles, right? But uh, I think cart page one is pretty nice. So this is the first cart page and I'll click on save. All right, and I'll close that. And there we go. So now we have our cart page. Now let's do the last one, which is the checkout, right? We'll do the checkout page. Same thing. Create a template. Choose a custom body. Here we go. And let's do the last templates. You know, I made these template kits for you guys because I wanted this to be a very thorough and comprehensive video. I hate videos where they're like always half assed where they just like they talk about like, oh yeah, this is great. Go check it out on your own time. And they don't really go through the actual process of everything of how to use it, you know? So uh, that's why we made this tutorial so comprehensive because we really want you guys to understand how to use this builder. And you know, you guys did buy it. So you wanna get the most out of it. And there we go, we got a beautiful checkout page. So now let's click on save. All right, and now I'll go ahead and close this. And we're gonna go ahead and save the changes. Now for your My Account page, you guys probably wanna add that to the button of the home page, right? So over here under the all pages, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and take the URL right here for the My Account page, and we're going to add this to our header, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add it to this header right here, and then I'll click on Edit Header Template. All right, now up here, I'm just going to uh, paste that link in there, right? So the link, you just want to make sure that you paste in the link right there. So whenever users uh, come to your website and they want to register or they want to log in, 
uh, they will then click on my account and users can log in on your websites and they can also make an account, right? So that's why you'd want to put that there. And I'll click on Exit Visual Builder. All right, so now let's go ahead and go through the checkout process and see how all of this pans out, right? So let's just imagine I'm a brand new customer, right? We're going to the shop page, we're gonna buy something, all right? We're gonna buy the, uh, we're gonna buy the headphones. I'm gonna pick the, pick the black medium, right? And I'll click on Add to Cart. All right, I'll click on View the Cart. And this is our new cart page. Beautiful, right? Everything syncs up perfectly. We just gotta change the colors to red, you know, but uh, yeah, you guys get it, right? I'm not gonna do that. So here we go, proceed to checkout. And there we go. We now have this beautiful checkout form where people can fill out their billing information, they can see their orders, and then they can purchase everything and you guys make money. All right, congratulations. So that is pretty much the theme builder summed up. The theme builder is very powerful. Uh, there is a lot of stuff you guys can do with the Divi Theme Builder. Uh, hopefully that by now you guys understand uh, how to use the Divi Theme Builder. If you guys have any questions for me regarding the Divi Theme Builder, let me know in the comments below. One thing also, don't forget to put your product categories here. Remember earlier how we made product categories? Don't forget to link your product categories over here on the uh, front page just so that users can uh, click on that and now go to your uh, category pages with your new product category pages that look great. You know, most people, they said Divi really can't make e-commerce websites. And I think now I disagree with that statement. You know, when Divi came out a few years ago, I did agree. I said, you know, I think Divi's a little limited for e-commerce, but now with the theme builder and everything else, you can really make some vibrant e-commerce websites using the Divi theme builder. And uh, yeah, I mean, all it takes is a little bit of practice and work, but you guys can make some really phenomenal stuff with the Divi theme builder, as long as you're creative, right? Just think of something like I did and you guys can uh, make something really amazing. I also do have a tutorial dedicated to Divi and I will leave that in the description below of this video. Even if you're experienced with Divi and e-commerce websites, I highly recommend to watch it because I do show you guys some really cool tricks on the things you guys can add to your e-commerce website using Divi. So make sure to check out that video. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.